Assalamualaikum everyone. This is Dr. Abdurrahman here again with the whole new chapter Investments and Refractory Diet. Today in this video we will discuss about introduction to investment materials, the requirements for investment materials and the available materials for the investment. So after the formation of a wax pattern the next stage is the investment of a wax pattern to form mold. The assembly is located in the casting ring then the investment material in its liquid form is poured into the casting ring so that it can surround the wax pattern and then we burn out the wax through loss wax technique and we have the resultant mold. Then we and then we add the molten alloy, ceramic or acrylic through this proof. Now I will tell you guys that how this uh, process uh, of forming a mold through the investment material works uh, in the following diagram. So now look at this picture. This is casting ring in which wax pattern is adapted and this highlighted part is investment materials which surrounds the periphery of the wax pattern. This tunnel shape is a screw which helps the molten alloy to get into the mold. And this hair is crucible. Basically, in crucible is a place where is a container where molten alloy lies and this hair is the wax pattern. Now let's suppose this casting ring is empty. There is no investment material in it yet. Now we are pouring the investment material in this casting ring which is still in the liquid form so that uh, the casting ring will be fully filled by the, filled by the investment material. But only the wax pattern part is to be left to be filled. So what happens is now from here, the crucible where the molten alloy uh, lies, uh, we force the molten alloy through several ways into this tunnel shaped screw and it will help the molten alloy to get into the wax pattern. So that's how the mold, uh, uh, that's how the mold forms and that's how the casting works. Now the requirements of investments for alloy casting procedures. The, ca the investment material should be dimensionally stable that is it should have dimensional accuracy. There is no dimensional changes occur before and after the setting of the investment material. Investment materials should be capable of reproducing the shape, size and detail recorded in a wax pattern. So, now the investment material should withstand high temperature more than 1000 degrees centigrade. And also, investment material should have high compressive strength because the molten alloy, molten alloy put compressive forces onto the investment material. So your investment material should have compressive, high compressive strength so that it can bear the compressive forces. And lastly, the investment material should expand enough to compensate costing shrinkage. This expansion will be of several types. One is of normal expansion during setting and one will be the thermal or hydroscopic expansion. Now the available materials. So basically investment material is mixture of refractory material, binder and other chemicals. Now we will study refractory material and binder in the detail. So now what is refractory material? Refractory materials are the materials which are capable of withstanding very high temperatures without degradation. What are their functions? Their function is number one that is mentioned in the definition too. They withstand high temperatures so that uh, they don't undergo degradation. They undergo significant expansion which helps to compensate the casting contraction. Now the thirdly they undergo inversion. Now what is inversion? Inversion is basically 
a process which occurs at a specific temperature for different refractory materials in which a material a refractory material itself changes from low form to high form now what is the meaning of from low form to high form low form to high form means that the refractory material will convert it from more compact form to the less compact form uh, and we can also say that uh, more dense form to less dense form now the binder binder is it binds refractory particles together binders are of several types for different investment materials calcium sulfate dihydride is the binder for gypsum bounded investment materials and magnesium ammonium phosphate is the binder for phosphate bounded materials and mix ethyl silicate with methanol and diluted hcl is binder for silica bounded materials